Welcome to Today of All Days, episode 51. I'm all ears. Today is Terrific Tuesday, July 18th, 2017. And today, we're gonna get right into... World World Listening Day. Day! We may think of sound as non-material waves flowing through the spaces between one spot and another. However, sound actually needs matter to exist. A sound wave is created when a force disturbs matter and causes it to ripple outwards in all directions. On the other hand, our ears perceive sound by picking up on the waves as they bounce around on the ridges inside our ears, and the different frequencies, or vibrations, determine how our brain interprets them. In recent years, scientists have been delving further into the different frequencies our brains perceive and their effects on our bodies and minds. Take, for example, ordinary noises like a cat's purring versus the bumble of a horde of bees. The purring noise makes us feel comfortable, safe, and cozy, whereas the buzzing triggers a feeling of nervousness or even fear. Now. Let's look at atypical noises, like infrasounds. Infrasounds are frequencies that cannot be heard by the naked ear, but can still affect the body and mind. These frequencies are being studied for their abilities to calm the brain, stimulate endorphins, initiate sleep cycles, and create discomfort. And we will be experimenting with the latter. So I hope you're ready. Mm. Because I tested this on myself earlier, so there's no one left to experiment on but you. You've been (laughs) pre-selected! So, this infrasound, yes, very much like infrared, Mm. infrasound, cannot be heard, so it's not going to sound like anything, but... What we're going to see is whether or not you start feeling any sort of way emotionally or physically. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. I feel like I can hear it a little bit. However, it does make you a little uneasy for some reason. Like I can feel it on the back of my neck. You can? Hmm. How else are you feeling? I don't know. Like my head feels a little a little shaky, if that makes sense. This noise has been known to cause anxiety, nervousness, nausea, and in some cases blurry vision because the frequency with which the sound vibrates can actually cause your eyes to start vibrating a little bit. So it is a frequency that can distort your mind. I will say that it is pretty uncomfortable, and I'd prefer to stop. I wasn't sure if this frequency would do anything, but when I found it earlier, when I was searching for examples, I immediately started feeling really weird. I could feel it like you in the back of my neck. My stomach even got queasy. It's just like an immediate feeling of like, ooh. I don't feel that great right now, and I would like it to stop. I can agree. I can agree with all the above. And we will put a link below for you to try this at home with your friends and loved ones. But we have to move on to... Today in History. In 1938, Douglas Wrongway Corrigan lands in Dublin, Ireland after a 28-hour flight from New York. Corrigan was an airplane mechanic who worked on Charles Lindbergh's airplane that became the first to travel across the Atlantic from North America to Europe. On July 9th, Corrigan flew from Long Beach, California to New York, New York, and planned on returning on the 17th. On his return flight home, the clouds were supposedly so bad the visibility so low that he flew instead to Ireland on accident. Corrigan had originally requested permission to fly from New York City to Dublin, 
Probably because he worked on Lindbergh's flight and he made his own plane to do this journey, but he was denied. And because of this, it is thought that he just flew there anyway, claiming it to be unintentional. Oh, I accidentally flew way longer than I should have. And now we're going to fly on into... Perfect Family Day! Have you ever watched a commercial and wished that your family could be as perfect as they appear on the TV? The truth is that the perfect family doesn't exist. And those that appear to be perfect are probably lying to themselves on a daily basis. Today is a day to celebrate being a part of a family that is flawed with unique quirks and problems. It is always a more beautiful thing when very different family members can come together and work through life together. That is a true picture of perfection. One that takes effort and trials to smooth out the rough edges until it's polished. So let's celebrate our families and be grateful that we have a unit to grow with and to possibly torture with infrasounds on this day. Today of all days. Today of all days. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.